What's up, everybody, and welcome to your next C++ SFML 2.0 tutorial. And this tutorial, we're going to be actually drawing our first graphics to the screen. And uh, what we're going to be drawing, uh, we're going to be drawing a player uh, or an image or whatever to the screen. So we're not do doing any animation in this tutorial. We're just going to display an image to the screen. Now, for the sake of the tutorials coming up, I'm going to be showing you a website where you can download and create your own, um, you can create and download your own uh, player sprite sheets. Uh, so, I don't memorize the exact link, but I will be uh, posting this in, this in the description below. If I forget, then remind me in the comment section below. So, I'm, I typed in for Famitsu Generator, and I got this link. If you want to put it into Google Translate, then you can. Uh, so this is for a girl. If you want to change it to a boy, you will click this one. Uh, you could design any character you want. Uh, add in the hair, add in a bunch of stuff. You know, just design the character the way you want it. And when you want to download it, you press this right here. Also, it did translate it. And you uh, say where you want to download it. And put the name you want to. Choose a location. And when you save it, this is where I want you to save it. So we're gonna go to our play our project folder. So this is my project folder. And uh, if we look at all files, it should be in the folder where we have our main.cpp, right? So for you code block users or something like that, it should be in the same folder as your uh, main.cpp and for every other user, okay? So once you got that done, now it's time to open up Visual Studio or whichever IDE you're using, okay? And I can get rid of this, something I was doing to help out somebody else. So in order to, uh, th there's three different uh, image types or whatever you'd like to call them in SML 2.0 that are the three primitive types. There's SF image, there's SF uh, texture, texture and there's sf sprite okay we're not going to be looking into sf image right if you really want to know how to use an sf image then you can always look at the SF sfml 1.6 uh my sfml 1.6 tutorials uh, i don't think anything or much has changed within them what the sf image does is that it allows you to do like editing with the image but not actually displaying it to the window such as uh change uh, setting um the mask color say you want a color to be invisible for example uh, a bitmap image doesn't have an alpha channel so say you had uh an image with say magenta as the background of the image but you wanted magenta to actually be uh, hidden when you draw it then you could set the mask color to magenta uh, you could edit it by um, cropping out certain sections of it, so on and so forth. Uh, with SML 2.0, uh, I believe it takes the OpenGL property of a texture, and we got something called the SF Texture. And it's a lightweight uh, type of class that stores image data. It can't really do as much as SF Image, but it's, it's very lightweight. Its, it's, it's purpose is to load in an image or something else. Or yeah, an image type or, or something like that. And then we store, after we do that, then we create an SF sprite. And then we store the text, or we make a pointer to that texture's data so we can display it to the screen. So enough of that talking, because I might have confused a lot of you, but let me show you how it is. It's really, it's really, really, really easy. So I'm going to make an SF texture. And let's call this uh, P texture for our player texture. And when we create that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say if not P texture dot load from file. And the file name I put mine under it's player dot png. And we're gonna be looking into this right here, but not right now. So I'm gonna say if not, then we just display a message error could not load player image. Right, so uh, if it didn't load the player image, it's gonna just uh, display that there. So we're gonna also just uh, create an SF sprite, and we're gonna say uh, we're gonna say uh, player image or whatever like that, whatever you wanna call it. So after we've loaded in our texture, if we've loaded it in successfully, 
Then we're gonna say player image uh, set texture. Okay, so as for um, the texture we wanna set it to, and we're gonna set the texture that we wanna set it to. So that's it. So now we loaded in an, an image and it's stored inside our texture. And when we say player image dot set texture, it's just pointing to this texture. Meaning that if you destroyed this texture or whatever before and you're still trying to use the sprite, it's going to become null because it's going to be pointing to no data at all. Okay? So now we are pointing to our texture. How do we display it? Well, it's as easy as pie. All we have to do is just put window dot draw and then we post in our image. And when we run this, just wait for this to build a bit. Okay, so once you do that, voila, we get our image drawn to the screen. Okay, uh, so that so that's it for our image. So what different things can we do to the image? Well, let's look at this. So if we do player image dot set position we can set a new position for our image we can put a hundred by a hundred so we just set a new position for the image so if we wanted to do something we could uh if we wanted to move the player around the screen we could uh use the events that we learned and we could say if they press the the right button it moves a certain amount of spaces to the right so on and so forth Right, so we could do a, a, a bunch of different things with that if we wanted to, but we're not really going to get into that yet. Uh, so the one thing I want to show you before this tutorial ends is uh, the next property within the pretexture load from file. So if we notice, we have a full sprite sheet when we draw it. So we have a full sprite sheet, but say we wanted to just uh, show this player standing image for whatever reason. Just say we wanted, uh, say we were just showing. Um, or whatever we just want to show this image right here okay so each of these images are 32 pixels by 32 so we want to show the image at start drawing at pixel 32 uh, and the x coordinate pixel 0 on the y coordinate it's 32 pixels wide 32 pixels down uh, so what do we do if we just want to display that image we can just go right here and it asks us for uh, interact so an area that we want to crop so we just have to do sf int rect. Within that int rect, we specify the starting position in the x coordinate, which is 32, starting position in the y coordinate, which is 0, the width, which is 32, and the height, which is 32. And, and after that, if we uh, run this program, as we can see, we have the single player image that we actually, uh, we had the cropped out image that we actually displayed. So it's up to you if you guys want that option. If you want to say you have, uh, say, uh, a large sprite sheet of tiles and uh, with a tile map, you can crop out certain tiles that you want to use, so on and so forth. But it's really up to you. So that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be looking into some sprite animation. Or well, actually, uh, we might look into something different. I'll have to decide. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye.